For the media, there was one moment in particular. To be fair, the guy's really just doing what he does. I mean, here he is at the Tom Brady roast a few months ago. Tom is afraid of the Giants, which is why Kevin Hart is hosting tonight. All night, he's been using the stool that Aaron Hernandez kicked out from under himself. Kevin is so small that when his ancestors picked cotton, they called it deadlifting. Tom Brady is a patriot, which is surprising considering he looks like a Confederate fag. Clearly, your ex-wife takes after you. I hear she's out there draining balls right now. People love you, Tom. You have the same fan base as Kyle Rittenhouse. Gronk, I'm happy you could take a break from writing Santa letters to be here today. I knew you were here when we were all out of chocolate milk backstage. Yes, do you know what is more shocking? That John Stewart is defending this comedian. Now, people who attended this rally, according to this tweet, more Puerto Ricans who attended Trump rally in New York just issued a statement saying they were not offended by the joke Tommy made. The only people outreach are white liberals. We like jokes. We understand the importance of a comic. A comedian having the freedom to push the envelope because that has always been what has separated them from everybody's faults. Jokes are not made for audiences. Some jokes will turn some off and all that on, but at the end of the day, it's a joke. I'm starting to suspect that Democrats don't understand jokes because they are literal jokes themselves. Few weeks ago, this clip you just saw here. This guy roasted Tommy like never before. I didn't see any outreach, but because it causes elections, things are changing. We like Buddy. jokes. We like jokes. We do. We and do. we understand the importance of a comedian having the freedom to push the envelope because that's always been what has separated comedians from like everyday folks, right? Mm -hmm. Where they can push the envelope to either make you laugh or make you think or challenge you, right? But, pero, because obviously we're so Bodies. proud Puerto Ricans. I will say that it is not a little floating pile of trash. This beautiful island full of beautiful people that love the beautiful islands. And it's okay to have different opinions. That's what makes America great, that people could just have different opinions. So you know what? Um, we're not offended. Did we like the joke? No, no I didn't like the joke. I, didn't we didn't like like I don't the even joke. think the crowd that he bombed that joke. Yeah, yeah. I thought I, it was think, funny. Don't get me wrong. At I first, think I'm the like, joke wow, that's in crazy. New York City maybe maybe was not like in the right nah. landing. Probably right. Probably, probably not, not the right, I have, the right I have mixed them all. <laughs> uh, There's something wrong with me. I find that guy very funny. So <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. These are people who understand comedy. Media understand what is going on, but because they just want to put a certain narrative which they already started pushing about this whole thing. If you don't understand, before this rally happened, Hillary Clinton went round calling it a Nazi. It didn't end there. I saw it somewhere on MNBC. So struggling to pick up one thing in that rally to spread their propaganda was just their aim. So John Stewart here is making it clear that guy is very funny. He's not taking this as anything. So Libras continue to push this. CNN would do segment upon segment. MNBC would do segment upon segment. They will never get tired. Russia Malu had this to say, partaken to the whole thing. I was shocked. Two very quick clips. The first one is from Trump's rally at Madison Square Garden last night. And the second one is from the infamous pro-Nazi rally at Madison Square Garden in February 1939. Americans sleeping on their own feces on a bench in Central Park. But the illegals, they get whatever they want, don't they? Five-star hotels, cash, probably get Yankee Dodger tickets tomorrow night. So-called refugees, these so-called poor people, who get so much better treatment than real Americans. The argument doesn't change at all. You know, if you, if you don't want to be compared to those people in history, don't steal their lines.
don't say you admire them. You know, if you don't want to be called a fascist, don't convert a normal governing political party into a one-man cult of personality and then say all elections are and the country used to be great, but now it's been humiliated and brought low because of an enemy within, and we're going to have to use force and violence against that enemy and, and terminate parts of the Constitution to get them, right? If you don't want to be compared to the folks who held rallies like that in 1939, don't hold rallies like that. If you don't want to be called a fascist, stop constantly acting out the dictionary definition of fascist. And then we'll all agree we won't use that F word anymore. Yes, the guy who tweeted this clip. This is what he wrote. MNBC Ratshare called Trump supporters fascists for complaining about illegal immigrant. If you don't want to be called a fascist, stop constantly acting out the dictionary definition of fascist. Madhu compared Trump supporters complaining about illegal immigrant getting whatever they want to Nazi, complaining about job taken to refugees. If you don't want to be compared to the Fox Warhol rallies like in 1939, don't whole rallies like that, Madhu said with a straight face, if you don't want to be called a fascist, stop constantly acting out the dish. Okay, I don't want to continue with that. This lady is attributing all Trump supporters fascists simply because they complain about Ilga immigrants. Hmm? So this is all why they have to attribute the whole thing to Sometimes when I see people calling that they should remove the license of some of these people, I will say, no, 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 it's not right. But when I constantly see this every single day, it should happen. Like, seriously, what are these people even thinking of? It means you are calling the, in fact, half of the countries fascists. Yeah, because Trump supporter is not just one. Millions upon millions of people you are attributing to this. The media in the back, they won't talk about this. But they know it to be true. Donald Trump is actually the president who will unite this country, actually. And we don't talk about that enough. America first includes all Americans, regardless of their race, their gender, or their sexual orientation. Our message to black Americans tonight is this. We want you what we want for every American. Safe neighborhoods, good jobs, clean streets. A country where you are judged based on the content of your character, not the color of your skin or your political beliefs. That's the America we know. Our message to Americans tonight is this. You're free to marry who you want, if you want, without the government standing in your way. But that doesn't mean that boys get to compete with girls in girls' sports. But our message to every illegal immigrant is also this. We will return you to your country of origin. Now Saying this is a problem to Relibras, I have seen John Stewart, Russia, saying Trump deporting people is this, this, this. Vivid said it clear here. So if you are mentioning this, they will call you a fussy. If you have a rally saying things like this, they will compare you to what Russia said. Totally crazy. And Whoopi Goober is more crazier. All of you. He's talking about you. It's us. He's not going to be, he's not going to, you know, say, oh, you're with a white guy. I'm going to keep you from being deported. No, he's going to deport you and put the white guy with someone else. The man is out there. He's all Trump, like Trump is spewing our lies so they cannot continue to cover the whole event. When I watched that, I had to laugh all through. She said, There's a lot going on. Like, I don't know if you guys know this, but there's literally a floating island of garbage in the middle of the ocean right now. Yeah. I think it's called it's Tony Hinchcliffe, which is super disappointing. Feels good in here. The other side's got a lot of crazy endorsements. Swift, Eminem, Leo DiCaprio, Beyonce. Every day the Democratic Party looks more and more like a P. Diddy party. I can sum it all that this thing is one of the reasons Democrats are freaking out. Well, let me tell you 
Aggressively anti-common sense. Right. That takes place on the left. Right. So, and so that's why they keep running that ad. Fascist. His friends are all dictators. Uh, I don't care about that at all. Not at all. Because January 6th was not good. Wait, why don't you care about that at all? Because they've been saying that about Trump for years. They've been saying that about Republican candidates for years. It goes, it has like a no. long storied history. If you are at all. So Fight for your country. You're calling yourself. Well, this is the problem. Holmes Enterprise. If you are over 18, please register to vote for something else. It's are now stepping forward. 18 before. I don't care if they write that. God, this is happening. She's very close to Trump. She's 30. A financial Republican. Hang on, Tim Walls. Look at what Democrat are experiencing. And sometimes there's a trend line that I never noticed before and make me go, whoa. You know, what you always say? Ah, you don't go Throw a birthday party for Diddy. Hey, you're calling yourself. Well, this is the problem. Guys, if you are over 18, please register to vote. For